Okay, what's up guys? So, I know I'm usually behind the camera. Don't worry, I will be going back there soon. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on riding in the cold. Uh, this bike life stuff is kind of involved at times. Usually I rock a uh, climb, kind of balaclava, my bank robbery mask, but I think I'm gonna try something different. As you can see, I got on my Air Force waffle shirt. I also got a neck gator, which I've never used. It, this thing gets in the way of me putting my headphones on. I just want to see how long it takes me to gear it up, show you how long it takes me to get geared up for uh, riding in the cold. Let's just see how long it actually takes me to get ready to go riding because it is worth it. Alright, next thing here. I'm going to do rag ish, take my do, see how well this works. And this should slide straight over. Holy crap. Bridge is tight. I'm dying. It was a bad idea to try this first. Okay. Woo! Good one. I now regret this. Okay. Wow. That was not a good idea to <laughs> try this on video first. So I did that so I could throw my earbuds in. This guy is warm, it's nice and comfy, but I can't put my earbuds in without my cables coming through the bottom of the neck part and then being all weird and I can't manage it when they get stuck in my jacket. Really makes it uncomfortable for me to ride around with. So I need something I can manage. And I'm still not sure if this is something I can manage, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Actually not so bad. Alright, now I can shove my multiple components up in my face. Uh, I should probably explain. The reason I'm doing this is not to necessarily show experienced riders what's up. It's just to show, I don't know, normal folks, you normies out there, what us crazy bike folks do just to be able to ride, right? So, riding in the cold sucks. You know, your reflexes are slowed. Your range of motion goes down because you get all chilly and uh you know if my neck and hands get cold my reaction time goes way down because i'm unable to move my fingers the way i need to i'm unable to turn my head the way i need to and it makes the situation just a little more dangerous and uh hopefully you can hear all this because i'm talking through a helmet to a GoPro with a uh, non-external microphone. So, ah, yeah. And a good thing about riding in the cold is if I get warm, I can take all of this crap off. But if I'm cold, there's no way I could get warm unless you got heated gear. My buddy Jamie, Mr. Jixer, has heated gear. Um, he's got the fancy gloves. Uh, gauntlet gloves and I think he's got an actual jacket that's heated too if I get video of that I will throw it in over this part of me talking but uh let's keep going all right yep I never ride without my lucky backpack with my name on it got my glove inserts which I need to protect my sensitive hands. They fit nicely into my regular riding gloves. And they're silk, so they're nice and smooth. All right, so let's talk about the rest of this on the bike. I'm pretty much done. Catch it about mm, no second. Okay, so it is about 55 degrees right now it has warmed up a little bit since i uh started the video and also 
Hey, welcome back. It didn't take long for me to get on the bike and get out of the house, but I did get a little sweaty. Uh, I did bundle up quite nicely. Uh, the sun's coming up. It is Michigan. Do not let this sun deceive you. It was about 48 degrees mm, 15 minutes ago, and uh, it was a little chilly. And with that being said, getting on this bike without all this stuff on, without that slight possibility of getting a little overheated before leaving the house, I'd have been freezing right now because it's 48 degrees sitting still. The wind chill on a motorcycle doing about 70 miles an hour is ridiculous. There are wind chill charts out there. And uh, I used to ride in about mm, 40, 44 degrees. And at 70 miles an hour, you're basically at freezing. So I throw a wind chill chart up so you can see a visual representation of what I'm trying to yap about. But it gets pretty chilly. So it does seem like overkill at first when I put all that crap on. It's 50 something degrees, 56 now. What the crap is going up as I speak. This is not helping my point about driving in the cold. But there's a lot of things that happen when you drive in the cold. Like I said earlier, um, my hands get cold. I can't react properly. It uh, makes me stiff. You do not want to be stiff while you're riding a motorcycle. Uh, it is not a good thing to not be thing to be able to not be able to good lord uh react quickly and i can't get on the freeway this is gonna make my ride unpleasant hmm well this is gonna suck actually you know what i'm gonna go the other way so riding in the cold does slow you down a bit uh the air going into your face is pretty chilly it makes your eyes water it has a lot of you know unforeseen effects other than just being cold right so the ground's cold your tires are cold and uh it just takes them a little bit longer to warm up your reaction time is slower like i said uh the breeze will make you shiver um you know it's just a lot of things that your body will do uh involuntarily that you have almost little to no control over so riding in the cold could be pretty iffy so you need to bundle up i'm not sure how many of my uh cruiser riding brethren do the same or a similar technique as i do i know a lot of those guys wear full leathers it's just very very wind resistant very warm a lot of them dudes rock the chaps they got the cheeks out but they have jeans on under them so don't kill me little car they stay pretty warm so when uh, you're out here riding in the cold, you have to take into consideration that cars also may or may not have frost on their windows, may or may not have condensation. Some people don't run their uh, defroster and you're about the same situation. You'll have condensation and moisture on the inside or the outside of your visor just because you're breathing. So with that being said, your visibility is hindered sometimes when you're riding in the cold and right now, I can feel this breeze, even though I'm wearing a windproof liner, I got my gloves on, this cold air is cutting through my clothing. I do have on breathable gloves, but uh, they're not like super mesh, they're like half mesh, half full glove. I like to have a glove that I could wear in the colder weather like today, and uh, also in the summer where my hands don't get too sweaty. But that being said, if I had a better set of gloves, maybe some gauntlet gloves or full synthetic or uh, textile gloves, my hands would not be feeling the breeze that I'm feeling right now. So it's not a super heavy topic, but it is something you have to deal with if you're gonna ride in the cold. And a lot of people just get on their bikes and they don't take a backpack, they don't have saddlebags, they don't have anything that they could uh, put their gear in because if I get hot, I have no problem pulling over, taking this crap off, throwing it in my backpack. I got on a liner, I got on a waffle shirt, I got on my long sleeve like superman muscle shirt up under this um got on my glove liners like i'm good to go i'm nice and comfy right now i'm not hot i'm not cold i'm just comfortable and i can turn my neck you know i can look around because i have my little neck gator on and this breeze is not taking the warmth out of my neck making me stiff and making my shoulders hike up because usually when you get cold your shoulders hike up your body starts to curl in because you're trying to maintain that body heat and do it involuntarily you have to force your arms down you have to force your hands to extend and relax when you're on a motorcycle and it just takes away from you being able to concentrate on the road or you get so you know focused on staying warm 
that you refuse to turn your head and neck because you know that slight adjustment will add just a little coolness to you. It'll take your temperature down some, it'll make you stiff, and you don't want to turn your head, not turn your head on a motorcycle. It's pretty damn dangerous. You need to keep your head on the swivel, and if that swivel's frozen up, you can't check out chicks in the driver's seat. See, I couldn't do that if I was cold. Fellas, keep your neck warm. You need to check out the bras. All right, guys, appreciate you watching the video. I will catch you later when I think of something else to yap about. See you on the flip side.